Hi, everyone. It's 7 o'clock. Nonstop News LA begins right now. Coming up here, fresh, healthy vending machines. Sound too good to be true? We will dig into a machine that may change the food world. That's up next here on Nonstop News LA. Who doesn't have a busy, hectic life these days? Eating healthy on the run, huge challenge. And then you think about your kids. There is a new company, however, offering quick, healthy snack options, and they're serving them up in vending machines. The company is called Fresh Healthy Vending. They've actually provided us with this video. The uh, machines are showing up all over town in schools and hospitals, shopping centers. They're stocked with fresh fruits, veggies, soy milk, yogurt, and uh, lots of other healthy options. Amanda Alton is a franchisee. She actually owns more than a dozen machines in the South Bay. Yeah, close to 15, and we're still um, hoping to place about five more by the end of the year. Okay, what possessed you to move in this direction? Um, our company name is called Seven Reasons. We have three business partners combined. We have seven kids, and those are our seven reasons to be healthy. Um, we want our children to have healthier choices in schools. And then we also want to ourselves be healthier as far as um, living longer for our kids and having healthier choices in organizations and our cities. You know the old term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make yes. the uh, drink. So <laughs> if a kid walks up to a vending machine and he wants, you know, potato chips or something that he's used to, how do you turn him on to more healthy food? Um, what I found is a lot of these kids um, currently know these products. They know Pirate Booty. They know Horizon Milk. They're familiar with the products. Their parents are presenting them in home. Um, if you are presenting them with a choice, it's not always all or nothing, but if you offer a machine that offers they pro these products, they may choose them. And it's all about offering a child a choice to make it because it may lead them to make a healthier choice in the long run and a different lifestyle. Okay, we've been watching some of the video here. Uh, let's talk about a few of the products. So if you, you have that need to eat something crunchy or potato chips or something, what's the, the healthy <laughs> alternative to that? Um, we have Pop Chips, that's a real popular brand right now. They have different flavors. Barbecue Chips, one of our famous brands. Um, we also offer Kettle Chips. They have no trans fats, no artificial flavors. Um, they come in like a Tia's, which is like a Doritos. Mm -hmm. um, we also have Pirate Booty, which is again, um, a white cheddar, rice, and corn puff. It's amazing. And I'm looking at the drinks, both in the picture there and uh, some of the things we see here. I don't see any soft drinks at all. We do carry a soft drink. It's Hanson Soda and also Blue Sky, which are um, some common brands that are found in grocery stores and Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Um, Hanson's is made with cane soda, um, but a lot of times we try not to offer sodas in schools because of the, the regulations. But if someone, be it an adult or a yes. child, has this craving for salty, junky, sweet mm -hmm. food, there are close substitutes. Close substitutes. I think they're great substitutes. Um, Stacy's is a common brand as well. They offer pita chips. Um, the cinnamon sugar is one of the items I have here that's kind of like a churro. Um, we also do like cliff bars. So there are some chocolate substitutes for them that if you're craving the sweet or the salty, you can go for the healthier choice. So how hard was it to sort of get this off the ground when you walked into schools or hospitals and said, hey, I've got this great idea. We're going to take all that stuff out of your vending machines and we're going to replace it with something good. It's been really um, exciting because I think we're on the cusp of a food movement. We have three kind of sets of clients that we have. We have um, companies that are rolling out wellness programs. And this is actually enhancing the success of their change initiative. Um, we also have schools that are part of like Vitality City, which is a part of Beach City's movement. And they're looking for this type of product to put in the schools to enhance the wellness. Um, we also have current um, companies like a gymnastic studio and private schools mm -hmm. that already promote this, but they found it was it was contradictory and have a regular vending machine there. Was it hard for you to actually get enough products to fill the vending machine to begin no. with? No, there are so many products. In fact, um, it's hard to choose. So we start with a bunch of products and then we slowly kind of narrow down what the the current demographics likes at that certain organization. And what seems to be the most popular thing? 
Pirate Booty and Back to Nature chocolate chips are chocolate chip cookies are two best sellers. Okay, um, I gotta ask you, you keep saying yeah. Pirate Booty. What's Pirate Booty? <laughs> pirate Booty is a corn and rice pie. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought it yeah, was. Yeah, white chatter. Popcorn. Yeah. Um, it's great. The kids love it. I we when we first put it in and Broadway Gymnastics, which is in the um, Santa Monica um, Marina Del Rey area, there was a kid just pointing at it saying pirate booty, pirate booty. And the mom was ecstatic that we had finally brought a product in that they didn't feel bad about purchasing that was healthier for their child. And that made the day. You know, if somebody's watching this somewhere else and they're thinking about getting involved. Um, yeah, any idea what it would take to get off the ground with a with a franchise on this? Yeah, they um, have kind of certain threshold limits. Um, the first limit is buying ten machines, which is about one hundred and forty thousand dollars, about ten grand a machine, plus expenses. Um, it's very minimal compared to other franchises like Subway or McDonald's. Um, and then you grow as you add machines. Um, and they really have worked really hard to help us on the PR and also getting us locations. Who do you test this food on? Your own kids? <laughs> yes, and ourselves, because I am a former, I love soda, and I'm really trying to make healthier decisions for myself. Um, and also, some of my, my two other business partners, we will try it and say, no, this, is, this isn't. It doesn't fly. This isn't going to fly. Um, my son just started liking cheddar bunnies, and I never thought a 16-year-old would like cheddar bunnies. And now he's like, can we get some more of that? So it, it's really about the combination of it and making sure that um, you're targeting who the demographic is for that location. I'm assuming cheddar bunnies are like the goldfish. Yes, but okay. little bunnies and they're and they're easy to eat and they come in a little bag and you know the bunnies, but the kids like them whatever age. Okay, well, good luck on your endeavor. Again, Thank you're you. in schools and hospitals and gyms, gymnastic studios, and public schools and private schools. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. Take care. Take your pirate booty with you yeah. before I dig in. <laughs>